Hey guys, so this is going to be a little bit of a story time video. I have been watching Miss Trinity 143 here on YouTube for pretty much as long as I can remember being on YouTube. I started doing YouTube in November of 2011 and I remember watching her and loving all of her creative things. I think she was pretty much the first person to ever deco a donut using fabric paint. She would get the powdered sugar Hello Kitty donuts and deco them and they always looked super cute. So I always remember her doing that. She always seemed really, really sweet and nice, but of course I never got to really talk to her. I think we maybe talked maybe once or twice back and forth. In January of this year, me and my husband moved from Texas to California to San Diego where Estrella lived. And I was hoping that me and her would be able to meet and maybe hang out once or twice and maybe make a video or two but what I wasn't expecting was to meet her and absolutely us click and become like best friends. I don't know if you guys have had it where you meet somebody and you just instantly click and just automatically get each other and it's like best friends at first sight and she's just so sweet and kind and beautiful. It's really really awesome to have a friend in real life that likes the same things that I do because it's not really easy and common for me to find people in real life that like Rilakkuma and squishies and Japanese things. So it was really, really special to find somebody who is so sweet, so kind, so loving, and also likes the same things that I do. So I'm just really, really blessed to have her in my life. So when she told me that she was pregnant for the second time, I immediately knew I wanted to throw her a gender reveal party. If you don't know, it's basically a party where you reveal what gender the baby is going to be. So Estrella didn't know what her baby was going to be, boy or girl, but I knew and I planned the whole party so that her and her husband and her daughter could find out together what the gender of the baby was going to be. We were talking about what we wanted to do for the theme of the party and we were trying to think of gender neutral colors. So I was thinking yellow and then immediately we thought to do bees because Estrella actually really, really loves bees. I don't know if you guys know that, but she really, really loves bees bees both in real life but like images of bees anything to do with bees she loves so I definitely wanted to throw her a bee themed gender reveal party and I love planning parties I have a video on my channel where I did my own <laughs> birthday party I did a real Akuma themed birthday party and I did a dessert table and everything and I have that video up here if you want to check it out but I absolutely love planning parties I think it's the funnest thing ever and so I put all of my efforts into making the best party possible for Estrella and her family. So this video is about that party. It was a lot of fun to plan and I'm so happy that they loved it and I just absolutely love you Estrella and I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. Make sure to go follow her if you're not on Instagram and check out her YouTube channel. Um, she really is super talented, super sweet person and I just love her to death. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <gasps> Holy crap, Holly, your house is like a one. <gasps> oh my goodness, come, Luna, look. That's super cool. Oh, it's, so beautiful. it's like so dark in here right now. Holy crap, Holly. This is cute. Oh, oh my gosh, Daddy, look. <gasps> yes, Winnie the Pooh. Luna, look. So, that is, so is that cute. the thing? This is what's inside this. There's confetti inside that's the gender. And this I tied up because it's really long and yeah, I, I was yeah. scared that someone, someone was going to pull it. I mean, someone could still pull it. But we'll tell nobody, don't pull it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks. Be, baby. Okay, look at the table. Did you look at the table yet? Oh my god, look. O. M. So, party. this is for you guys. Holly. Like, you need to give us any more. This is such a beautiful... Why could it not get bee things? <gasps> a bit of a... Oh, adorable. Thanks for oh, buzzing by. my... They're so soft. I know, they're really soft. <gasps> Trust me, like, this was me restraining myself. You're the bee's knees. Because I was literally going to... You're kidding. And you can have that banner after. You're kidding, Pretty much Holly. almost everything you're going to have afterward. There's no... Wow, you're the best. You're the best. Oh my. Oh my god. So that little that little bee thing is yours. Oh, hold on, baby. I know. Oh my god, look at the cupcakes. They look like little beehives. I tried to. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Are these the honey butter potato chips? 
There's two different kinds. Did you know there's two different kinds? I did not. There's it's a real. Oh my god. Those are for you too. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I bought those for you guys. I this hope is they're the perfect way to do a pillar. Super. I hope that they're real and not I don't Chinese care. knockoffs. I don't care. I don't so care. Cute. There's How did two you different. Get up there. The ladder and Shannon's help. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Luna, this one is this her shirt? Her shirt That's her adorable. shirt. And then those are your pins. To the left. Oh, I'm gonna put this on. All right. Yes, I'm a drone bee. Yes. Love it. <laughs> Friday. It's the day before the party and I kind of wanted to talk about um, that the decorations and how I made some of them um, because I know I may not have time on the actual day of the party to do that um, but this was the main backdrop for the table. Now these little paper fans are made out of scrap of paper and it took two pieces per fan and basically all you need to do is fold them like an accordion and then glue them together so you can see I glued it right here. I used a tutorial for this that I will link down below in the description. Um, the poster I designed, um, I designed the invitations to match so everything has the same look and feel, the same bee, the polka dots, everything. Um, and I think it looks really cute, the little rosy cheeks. And then all I did for this part was just um, glue the streamers to the wall so it's basically just streamers and I just alternated them so nothing fancy there I just took a long time but totally worth it um, this is what the table looks like right now um, it's very messy I'm still putting things together um, but I'm really excited about everything um, got these plates at Target so cute I have my cupcake cupcake stand I have this really cool jar got at home goods that has like the honeycomb um, texture on it and then what I did is I glued a candlestick holder to it to give it some height so I didn't actually buy it that way I just made it that way then I got this uh, vase from the dollar store and then I got some fake flowers I got a bunch of different fake flowers these ones I think are from Hobby Lobby and they were more expensive because they look prettier but then I have other fake flowers like these which are from the dollar store so always check the dollar store first because I was really shocked at some of the amazing finds I found at the dollar store um, but I just added some little ribbon detail to that. And then this is just a cardboard box that I covered in paper to put the drink dispenser on. 
Um, this paper came in a roll. It's also the runner on the table. And that was from Michaels, and that was a great deal because I used it on, on everything. Um, I have picture frames. I still haven't put the pictures in them yet. And then I got this platter at Home Goods also because I can use it after the party. Got some fun honeys, some saltwater taffy. And then I made this really cute little stand for the cupcake pops. And basically I found this at Michael's and I painted it white. And then this is a piece of foam that I covered in green paper to look like grass. So I made some cake pops today um, to put in that. And then you can see there's the flower garland there that's also from Hobby Lobby. Plates and utensils. And then I just got these cookies today. I ordered them on Etsy. Um, if you're curious, I will link the Etsy store down below in the description. But they just came today. I was freaking out about them. I um, was hoping they would come today and like not, I wouldn't have to go pick them up. And I was just freaking out. So I'm really, really glad I have them. They're super duper cute and adorable. And she packaged them like this. Like I didn't have to do that. So she packaged them with the black and the yellow ribbon, which matches the table. And I think it's really, really cute. And then the banner on the table, I designed and printed and cut out and made. And then the little fringy stuff on the bottom is a little tassel banner that I made. And that took quite a while, but I think it looks really, really cute. Um, and I can find a tutorial for that as well. There's a ton of tutorials on Pinterest. I use Pinterest a lot um, when making everything. Oh, and then I also made my own little cups. Um, I found some honey butter chips, and so I made these little boxes, and I think they're really cute. For my wedding, I had popcorn, because my wedding was carnival themed, so I had little popcorn boxes. So I took the same tutorial, or I, I took the same template, and I cut it in half so that it was shorter. But I'm really excited to use those. So that is it. Oh, and I found this really cute thing at um, TJ Maxx. So it's a little um, honey jar. And I'm going to give to Australia afterward. So that is the table. I have this other table that's going to have stuff on it that I haven't done anything with yet. So this is the tree that I made and it looks <laughs> kind of derpy. Um, but basically I found this. Um, actually Australia had bought because she was moving and she bought this paper at Walmart that's meant for paint I think to protect your floors when you're painting, but I just ruffled it up and made it into branches and then I glued little leaves on it and then I have little bees. The bees are made out of yellow cotton ball, craft cotton balls, and then there's um, black pipe cleaners on them. I made this little cubby hole with two bee Winnie the Pooh zoom zooms I'm gonna give to her afterward. So I think that's a really cute little detail. So I was really surprised because normally these types of like pom-pom decorations are quite expensive. Like they run pretty expensive at Party City, but these were at the dollar store. But you get one, um, I think it's like a nine foot string with six palms on it for a dollar. And then they also had like, they also had these big palms and it was two for a dollar, which was, I thought was so fantastic. So I'm really excited about these. I tried to hang these up last night and the bunnies freaked out. I think they thought they were like monsters or something. So they were not happy about that at all. Where are you? Look at all that poop. We're gonna move their cage into our bedroom. We're gonna move them into the bedroom and we're gonna put the table here. And then that's the banner that I have made. So cute. So this is the hive that's going to be the part that's going to have the gender reveal part. Um, so this is basically a yellow lantern and I took the metal piece out because I was having such a hard time figuring out how I was going to make the stuff come out because normally there's like a metal piece in here that like goes all the way down. But what I did is I took the metal piece out and inside is a plastic cup with the bottom cut off. And then I basically just made a little stopper at the end of it that's kind of pushed in right now, but it'll come back out again. But I hope that it works. You're watching this after you watched the very first video, so pray that it worked. 
I'm really, really nervous about it. I'm really scared, so crossing my fingers. These are the bee cake pops that I made that I think are really cute. I have them in the fridge because it's way too hot in my house right now. I tried to make blue honey pot cake pops, but it's just so hot in my house and like just sitting out all day, like they're not even hardened, like I don't know. And I also am mad that I got blue candy melts. Like I don't know why I got blue candy melts. Like I think I even got the blue ones before I knew what the sex of the baby was. I just thought I would make them blue for some reason. I think because when I googled honey pot, some of the Winnie the Pooh honey pots were blue. But I should have made it brown, but it doesn't matter because I'm not going to use those anyway. I'm just going to use the bumblebee ones. I made these chocolate covered strawberries today. And then I made little um, beehive cupcakes that I'm really worried that those are going to melt. Like everything's going to melt because it's so hot in my house right now so I don't know what to do but that's all of the prep that I can think to talk about now but thank you guys so much for watching this video and go congratulate Estrella on her baby and yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye